classic potato salad, perfect for a grill out, a picnic, a cookout, whatever you're doing. It's just how my mom made it. Let's mix them together. So classic potato salad, just like mom made it, just like grandma made it in my family, is gonna start with red potatoes. I like red potatoes. I think they hold up well. This is what mom always used, and this is what we always grow at home because this is what we like to use for like potato salad and things like that. They're a little bit smaller too, so they're about the same size. Now I'm not cutting them, I'm putting them right into cold water. I don't like to cut my potatoes when I cook them. I know that seems traditional, but Potatoes have the tendency to soak in water. So as they're sitting in water and cooking, they can absorb some of that water and then they're watery potatoes. You don't want that. So I'm gonna put the potatoes in here and you could also fill it up afterwards but I just happen to have some water in here already. And the thing is, instead of putting them into boiling water, which then they cook a little bit more unevenly, if you start them in this cold water, they tend to warm up with the water and they cook just a little bit more evenly. Now, I have a stitch too much water on that. I just like them to be covered Oh, about an inch. I don't want it to boil over. So now I'm gonna bring it over here. I'm gonna turn it on high. And then once they're cooked, we're gonna make a great dressing. You know, potato salad really, once you have the potatoes cooking, is a no brainer. So the potatoes have been boiling away and you can see, I like to leave their skins on because I think it's good color, but that's up to you. So when I pull them out, I always check, you wanna just take a small knife you want no resistance when you poke in, even down to the center. You don't want any point of uncooked potato. That wouldn't be good. So you just want to check a few, and if there's different sizes, make sure to get one of the bigger ones and go in and make sure. But then once they're cooked, you're good to go. So now I just want to drain them, which I'm just going to kind of do it. <laughs> Guys, I'm doing this like mom would have, so I'm just going to have it, drain it. You want to get all that water off. Get a nice steam bath out of it. It's a good facial. It's a chef's facial. So we're going to get that all off and just kind of let it sit there a minute. And then if you just leave them in here, take the lid off, that residual heat from this pan will kind of just evaporate the rest of that liquid, which is what we want. So while they're sitting there doing that, we can talk about the dressing. Now, the dressing is one of my favorite parts because it has all the goodness. And this is a really, to me, simple, just kind of standard dressing. This is what my mom always did. And it really is just kind of the basics. So we're gonna start with mayonnaise. Now guys, you can choose whatever one you love. I know there are some Miracle Whips fans out there. I know there are Dukes fans out there. Guess what? I'm not gonna tell you which one to use. I actually like to use homemade, so I'm on the whole other scheme. So you can use whatever you like, and whatever works well for you. We're gonna add in some apple cider vinegar. And I know, yes, you can use white distilled too. The thing with vinegar is, some people think, I don't like vinegar. You need the acidity, you need the play, you need it all to work together. Some prepared yellow mustard, Again, this is classic. This is just like, these are the things you need. Now to this, I also like to put my onion right in the dressing. Now some people might add their onion right to the salad itself. I like to have it be in the dressing, kind of mix it in, mince it up. I don't want big pieces of onion. I want them to be just nicely, you know, like a nice dice on them. The thing is, we're kind of going, we're not going to gourmet route on this because to me, sometimes with potato salad, you just want the classic potato salad. This is for a cookout. This is to feed a crowd. This is what a family may love. And I know kids are like their potato. Kids usually aren't like, I want potato salad. I was one of those kids that wanted potato salad and loved potato salad. And I'm still like that. So we have our onion. I'm just using white onion, as you can see. And we're going to put that all right in there. Then we definitely need a little bit of salt salt, you need it. For one, all those potatoes, they need the salt. We're gonna do some black pepper, which I already have some crushed in here. We can just kind of sprinkle that right over. I like a good dose of black pepper, so I might even add a little bit more. That kind of is up to you. I will always do some pickle relish. Now this is more of a bread and butter style pickle relish. You can use a sweet, you can use a dill. It's honestly, guess what? I say this a lot. It's what you like, it's what you gravitate towards a little bit of celery seed. Now, celery seed, it's an interesting one, right? But when you put it in there, not only does it play up the celery itself, but it kind of uses all those flavors that you need. So we're just gonna whisk this all together. And this to me, see how that yellow mustard, all at once it just becomes this more creamy color. And that's exactly, that's exactly what it should look like. You get a creaminess, you get all that consistency in there. You get the little bit of black pepper, you get the celery seed. And then just kind of push that all together and make sure it's all well mixed. I will always, just a little bit. Well, that's good. 
<laughs> All I want is a little bit more black pepper. <laughs> I love black pepper. I get that from my mom. So this is all mixed together. What I'm gonna do is let the potatoes just cool off slightly. I like them just a hint warm. Then we're gonna chop them up. We're gonna put it all together, add the main, just a few extra ingredients, and we're good to go. The potatoes are somewhat cool now to handle. They're a little bit warm, but you can see. So there's multiple ways to do this. You could take a potato, and now I'm leaving the skins on. If you wanted to peel your potatoes, I don't know, go ahead. I just, I like the skins. They're red, they're interest, why not? You know me, I'm pro skin on any vegetable. So these are nice and tender. You can chop them up however you want, however you see fit. But I'm gonna show you what my family, my mom, my grandma, have always done with potato salad and what we love. So we take the potatoes, we put them in the bowl, and we have this tool. Now, I'm probably gonna get questions, where do you get this tool? I don't know, I'm gonna guess it's vintage, but we find them, <laughs> we find them now at garage sales or secondhand stores. It has teeth on the bottom, it's kinda like a, it's a chopper of some type. And then we just take it, and we go down, and we start chopping these all up. And this is how mom always did it. And to me, what it does is it creates irregular chopped pieces of potato salad. So then as you're chopping these, you're getting this irregularity to it. And some of them really break down and almost become creamy, not like mashed potatoes, but like a mixture of that consistency and chopped. Again, it's whatever you want. You know, I find with foods like potato salad, grill out foods, those potluck foods, whatever they are, we all have a food memory associated with them. And to us, that's the only way you can have it. I'm not gonna step on those toes. If you have a way you like your potatoes chopped, do it. This dressing will be good with any potato. You can see here what we have are just irregular, nicely chopped pieces. It's kind of the perfect thing. So you have all the little red skins in there, which I like, it adds interest, adds texture, but guess what? Skins have nutrients too, that's why we keep them there. So to this now, we have just a few extra ingredients. So we have our celery. Now, I wanna chop up a little bit more. Now, if you follow me, you know, I don't love celery. It's not my first pick of something, but guess what? There are recipes that call for celery and they need celery. Potato salad needs celery, and of course I put it in there. And I don't mind it in there, so once in a while, it is needed. We're gonna put that right in there. Then we have some, you can see I've been chopping hard-boiled eggs. I like a good amount of them, and I like them to have just a nice rough cut on them. We're gonna put in the hard-boiled eggs. Obviously, they kind of break up with their yolks and their whites, but they add a richness, they add a creaminess. They're just good. So we're gonna add all those right in there, and then, the dressing, I mean, you need the dressing. So the dressing, since the potatoes are slightly warm, the dressing actually kind of soaks in better when they're warm, which I like, because then it kind of becomes one with the potatoes. So we're gonna put this dressing on, and this is just to me when magic is created here. You have this mixture of potatoes. You know, potatoes, when you think about it, they have flavor on their own, but they're able to carry so many other flavors. So when you mix it with these ingredients of like that creamy, slightly mustard dressing, you have like the eggs, you have onion in there, celery, it all then mixes together into this, to me, magical component. So as you're stirring it, you can see it's now becoming potato salad. And of course you wanna well chill it, but even though it's just slightly now warm or room temp, it still is good. And this is one of those things that at a party you have to keep it chilled too. So if you're gonna serve this outside, you want it to be chilled, don't just let it sit outside forever. Or put it on ice if it's gonna be out for a little bit to make sure it stays cold, because it does have mayonnaise in it. And you don't want that to get to room temperature and stay at room temperature, or get warm or sit in the sun. But now you have one of those components that are perfect for any grill out. They're perfect for a cookout. They're perfect for a potluck, a picnic. It's pretty, but you know what, most of all, it better be good, that's the whole point. So I'm gonna taste it. We're gonna make sure, you can always adjust for salt, but by now it should be well seasoned. It's great, it's wonderful. I actually don't think it needs more salt. It's just delicious and it's really homey. It's like homemade potato salad. You have the slight acidity of that vinegar and mustard. It was totally balanced by the mayonnaise. And it has that creamy kind of rich tone to it, which the potatoes, would be dry on their own, but when you mix them with this dressing, oh, it's a good match, and it's a match made in heaven. So this is classic potato salad, mom's potato salad, and guess what? 
Not only does it put food on the table, but it gets people a little bit happy and a little bit nostalgic for that good food to go with whatever you're grilling or cooking. That's the point. So what do I hope you do with this? I hope you share it around. Share this video because it helps others see this is doable. If I can do it right here, you guys can do it too. Check my website, wiseguide.com for this recipe and all my other recipes, they're on there and they're easy to print off too. So until next time, go enjoy the outdoors with some potato salad.